Welcome back to my channel, and as always, thanks to my subscribers. In this video, I'll show you how I built this dump truck in less than 10 hours, and for less than $10. I started with this kit from Rusty Rail. It's a simple kit, consisting of just 8 parts. The gravel load in the truck bed is removable. This is a resin kit, and resin kits usually require some extra preparation of the parts before you begin assembly. For this kit, I sanded the bottom of the truck bed to get it level with the top of the bed. And I sanded the top of the frame to remove the casting flash, which you can see here. As a quick tip, when your sanding stick becomes clogged with debris from sanding, you can remove it easily by scrubbing it with an old toothbrush. Once all the parts were sanded, I checked the fit of the frame into the cab. I was a little worried that I might not get a good solid joint so I inserted a short length of 25 thousandths wire into a hole I drilled through the frame and into the underside of the cab. Then I glued the two pieces together using CA or super glue. This worked so well that I decided to secure the rear wheels to the brake drums using the same method. But when I drilled the holes in the brake drums, they went completely through the casting. On a hunch, I checked the alignment and found that I could thread the wire through both holes, forming a nice rear axle. For a little extra interest, I slipped a short length of 1 8 inch tubing over the axle and glued it in the center to form a very crude differential. While I was messing with the frame, I glued two short lengths of 40 thousandths rod to either side of the underframe to form tail lights. Once I had glued the front wheels in position, I found that the truck sat much higher on the rear axle than on the front wheels. In order to keep the truck bed level, I glued a scrap of styrene strip to the front of the underframe before I glued the bed in place. Rusty Rail also offers this set of replacement truck beds. You can model a stake bed truck with or without the drums, a dump truck with or without the load, a logging truck, or a truck with a load of pipe. Once the truck was assembled, I gave the cab a coat of Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch 2X Gray Primer. This is a dark gray, and it will be the final color of the cab windows. Then I masked off the windows and primed the entire truck with Tamiya Light Gray Primer. Once the primer had cured, I gave the entire cab a light wash of dark green. I think I used Hunter Green. When the washer dried, I painted the underframe a dusty tan, the tires and taillight fixtures a dark gray, the wheel hubs off-white, and the rear axle and springs rusty red. I painted the chrome using Vallejo silver. Then I applied a thin wash of burnt sienna over the entire truck. When all that was dry, I painted the taillight silver, and when the silver was dry, I applied a coat of Tamiya clear red. When all the paint was dry, I removed the masking tape from the cab windows and gave the windows a clear gloss coat. Once the paint was dry, I coated the bottom of the truck bed with white PVA glue and poured in some Woodland Scenics fine light gray ballast. Then I saturated the ballast with 70% isopropyl alcohol, using a pipette to be sure I didn't disturb the profile of the load. After the IPA had thoroughly saturated the ballast, I applied scenery cement over the whole thing. After drying for several hours, the load looks loose and dry, but it is held firmly in place. I added one final detail to the model. I used a number two pencil to color the edges of the truck bed. The pencil covers the paint and makes the edges look like bare metal. The graphite even has a shiny appearance. This is a simple but very effective way to make your models look well worn. In the description below this video you'll find links to many of the products and tools I've mentioned. I love to read your comments and to respond to your questions. If you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.